Welcome in my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's fitness instructional video coming to you from Revision Training LLC where our mission is to make fitness accessible for you. Whether you're sighted or visually impaired, doesn't matter, we wanna bring fitness to you guys. My name is Tyler Marin, and today we're gonna to be talking about an exercise that everybody should be doing, and a lot of people think that they can't. We're of course talking about pull-ups. And even that name, most people are like, mm, skip. Try to stay with me on this video because I'm gonna show you not only some of the benefits and the various techniques, but I'm gonna show you a lot of modifications that may make this exercise very doable for you and it'll help build up your overall health, your posterior strength, so much benefit that we can get out of this. So stay with me, like this video, comment, share it, join the communities and help us to get this message out. So like I said, my name is Tyler Marin. I am a three-time Paralympic athlete, motivational speaker, personal trainer and owner of Revision Training LLC. I wanna tell you guys, pull-ups are one of my very favorite exercises. The reason that I like them so much is because they are challenging, but they also are extremely good for your health. We don't work on our back strength nearly as much as we need to. Most of us have weak glutes, we have weak hamstrings, we have weak back muscles. So this is just a great addition to overall health. So let's talk about some of the major benefits. We're gonna go through some of the basic techniques, variations of the pull-up. And then, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys some really cool modifications that even if you're very, very much a beginner, you could have some options to do some really cool pull-up movements, okay? Benefits, first starting off. The pull-up movement, now most people think of the pull-up as an arm movement. You're gonna strengthen your arms. While it's true that you're gonna build up strength in your hands, your forearms, your biceps, the primary mover of the pull-up is actually back here along the side of your body. It's called your latissimus dorsi. Um, so it's a big muscle that runs from your lower back up through under your arms and helps pull your elbows back and down, okay? Along with that, in a suspended position, you're also gonna be working the muscles in the core, the hip flexors, the glutes, the thighs, um, pull-ups are really a very full body exercise. So you're going to benefit your body by building up a lot of posterior strength and helping stabilize a lot of your joints. Very, very good for anybody. Now the other thing to keep in mind, your shoulder joint, your shoulder, your glenohumeral joint, it's a ball and socket joint, okay? So when we think about exercises that we do in different planes of movement, okay? So we have three different planes that we move in, sagittal, frontal, and rotational. I'll spare you guys the boring details, but essentially, if you think about pushing away from us, if you have your arms out to your side, your elbows out to your side, and you're pushing away, like you're doing a push-up if you're on the floor, that is working the muscles around your chest and shoulders, pushing away. Now, you can do that just your body weight. You can do go down on the floor, do a push-up, you're gonna work those muscles. You can grab a weight, you can stand up straight, you can lean forward so you're pointing your chest towards the ground and then you pull the weight up toward you. That's gonna work the muscles across the back of your shoulders, okay? We can stand up very tall with weights at our sides. We can push them up over our head. We're gonna work the muscles over the top of the shoulders. But really the only way to go the other direction where we're reaching up and pulling something down towards us, working those muscles along the, under your arms, along the backside of your, your ribs, your uh, latissimus dorsi, is a pull-up movement. So all of that to say, if you're not doing some type of pull-up movement, you're missing a full primary movement of your arms and shoulders, your upper body. So really, really crucial you guys think about this and figure out a way that you can add this in, okay? Those are some of the benefits. Let's talk about some of the basic techniques. And then, like I said, we're gonna get into some of the variations and plenty of modifications so you can add this into your routine. So I'm gonna start off up on this block. I've got a pull-up bar here. And what I've got that I'm working with is uh, I have a wide grip, more of a narrow grip, and then I have a hammer grip. I'll talk you guys through that. But whether you're doing wide, narrow, reverse, it doesn't really matter. The same movements are gonna apply. You First of all, when doing a pull-up, you wanna focus on getting a full range of motion in, okay? 
Now this is where a lot of the, the um, variations will come in. This is where a lot of the modifications will come in because if you're not strong enough to lift your entire body weight up, you're not gonna be able to get a full range of movement. A lot of people, when they're not strong enough, they're gonna pull themselves up, they're gonna come down about halfway and then pull themselves up again. They're gonna short arm it quite a bit. So that's where you wanna make sure you're getting the right modification so that you can get a full extension. So I'm gripping the bar up over my head. I'm gonna start off with a wide grip here. So my hands are quite a, uh, about six inches wider than my shoulders. I'm gonna be down at a full extension, okay? So my elbows are almost completely straight. I wanna keep just a real slight bend. I extend my shoulders down. Now to begin the movement, here's key for all pull-ups. As I come up, I wanna pull my shoulder blades down first, okay? So I'm kinda of cheating a little bit here. I got my feet on this platform, but I wanna show you that movement. I'm all the way down. I'm hanging from my arms right now, okay? I'm gonna start my movement. I'm gonna come up about three or four inches only out of my shoulders first. My arms have not bent. That's a real key concept. A lot of people miss that. They go into a pull-up, the first thing they wanna do is pull their elbows in super tight. You wanna start by drawing your shoulder blades back and down. This is a lat movement, it's a shoulder movement. So you begin by drawing your shoulder blades down and then you flex your elbows, pulling up and then slowly lowering all the way back down to the start, okay? Pulling yourself up to where your chin comes up over whatever bar you're holding on to, getting that full extension, thinking about pulling the bar down to your chest, your upper collarbone, upper chest area, okay? So again, gripping, whether it's wide or narrow, I've got a full extension, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down, and then draw the elbows down to your side as you pull yourself up and extend all the way back down. So that's some of the basic, basic techniques. You wanna keep your belly squeezed in. You can have your feet, um, your knees bent. You can have your feet crossed over. It doesn't matter where your feet are, as long as you're not in a full version anyway, pushing off the ground, right? So I'm in a full hang here, pulling up and coming back down nice and slow. Pull up and come down. You wanna use the shoulders, okay? That's the full version. Now let's talk about some of the variations of grip. Okay, so here I'm going with a wide grip where my hands are just outside of my shoulders. This bar is pretty wide. I can go with a super wide grip. That's gonna make it a little bit tougher most of the time. We can go with a close grip where my hands are in. I'm just a little bit wider than my chest. I'm right at shoulder level. So it's the exact same movement. My palms are facing away from me but now my hands are a little closer together as I do the pull-up movement, okay? And then the other variation that's very, very popular, I'm gonna turn around and I'm facing towards you guys now. I have these handles on this side that are pointed straight out, okay? So instead of my palms facing away from me, my palms will be turned in facing towards each other as I do that pull-up, and that's gonna activate more here in the uh, brachialis in your forearms and your biceps. So it's called a hammer grip, because when you swing a hammer, you got your palm kind of turned to the side. So hammer grip, same idea, shoulder blades squeeze together and you draw your elbows in as you pull up on the bar. And then the last grip that's the most common, so we've got wide, close grip, hammer grip, and then reverse grip or a chin up. That's typically what you would call this Chin up and pull up are the same thing, just different names for it, where you've got your palms turned towards you and you're doing that same pulling motion. That's usually a close grip. When your palms are turned towards you, you don't really wanna go super wide with that. You wanna keep it in close and pull up with your palms facing towards you. Now with your palms facing towards you, you're gonna get a little bit more bicep with your palms facing away from you as your um, radialis turns over, it tucks your bicep tendon under and forces the, the strength of that lift more into the brachialis, which is, or I'm sorry, the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna mess up the name on this one. I'll have to circle back to it. The brachioradialis with the hammer grip and the brachialis with uh, the forward grip. Okay, I think we got it. 
<laughs> so um, those are some of the variations on grips. There's so many uh, different ways that you can do this. Just like a, a push-up, you can mix in just tons and tons of variations, pulling yourself up, moving to the side, pulling yourself up super hard and doing like a clap pull up. There's just so, so many ways that you can do this. Now, now that we have some of the basic uh, techniques in place, let's go ahead and talk about how do we modify this down? Because again, most people, especially right off the bat, are just not strong enough to pull their entire body weight up on a bar. Totally fine. So let's begin by taking a look at some of the basic modifications. Now the first one is simply this. I have a platform to stand on, okay? Now this is a jumping box. I've got it on the lowest setting right now, but if I flip it to the side, okay? Now it's a little bit taller. If I flip it up even one more, it's quite a bit taller now. It's up pretty high. Now you gotta be careful if you're doing something like this as I step up. But what I've got now is I have something to, to stand on. Like I can go up on my tippy toes and I'm almost up over the bar already, okay? So I can use this now, I can use the strength of my legs to help with that pull-up movement. I can squat down and full extension, my knees are slightly bent. I'm in almost like a chair seated position. And as I pull myself up, I can use my legs to help support that movement. So I'm taking away a lot of the weight and creating a little bit less tension in my arms. So also you can do the same kind of movement on a regular pull-up bar. Now here's a little tip for you guys. If you have access to a gym, a lot of times gyms are gonna have an assisted pull-up machine, okay? I don't have one here to show you guys, but an assisted pull-up machine is gonna have all those grips and it's typically gonna have a platform that you can stand on that is a counterbalance. So when you add weight to it, if it's a pin or you actually stack plates onto it, the more weight that's on there as you step up onto that platform and as the platform moves up and down, it's going to lift you up more, take away your body weight and allow you to do that pull up movement, okay? So if you have a fitness center and it's really fancy, you probably have access to something like that. Also, if you have a squat rack, that's essentially where I'm standing right now is inside of a squat rack. So it's a big cage um, with metal bars and things like that for lifting. I have this bar, this Olympic bar, hanging out right here at about chest, upper chest, shoulder level. I can do pull-ups on this bar, okay? So I'm standing with the bar at about shoulder level. I've got my hands a little bit wider than my shoulders. I'm gonna step my feet just a little bit forward. I'm gonna squat down, extend my arms out, and then I'm gonna pull myself back up on the bar. I'm literally just doing an assisted pull-up, keeping my feet flat on the floor, squatting down and doing a pull-up. Squatting down and doing a pull-up. So this is great because not only am I getting a good pull-up movement in, but I'm kind of sharing the stress between my legs and my arms, and I'm working on my legs a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of a squat. So you can do both, okay? I can focus on putting a little bit more weight into my legs. If I've got knee problems or something like that, a little side note, this is a great way to do an assisted squat. And I'm telling you, you do 10 or 15 of these, you're gonna get your heart rate up pretty quick too. But I can also say, okay, I'm gonna keep the weight in my arms, I'm barely gonna push with my legs, and now I'm getting a good assisted pull-up movement in, okay? TRX, if you guys didn't catch my video for doing TRX work, go back, check it out, train like a seal, okay, is what it's called. It's going to teach you about TRX and how you can do an assisted pull-up on the TRX, which is such a great movement. It's a seated pull-up on the TRX, which you can also do on these bars. One final note on that, if you don't have access to a squat rack, you don't have access to an assisted pull-up machine, you can go online and you can buy very cheap a pull-up bar that you can mount the brackets in a door frame, okay? There are the kind that just kind of hook up over the top of the door, which is totally fine, but if you need 
that idea, if you like that idea of kind of an assisted movement where you can use your legs, where you can put the bar down lower, sit on the floor and do a pull-up movement, just like I show in the TRX, then you can get the kind that mount on the inside of the door frame with brackets and you can put them at a higher and lower level so that you can work with those specific heights where you need, okay? So go ahead and post comments or questions on that if you'd like. I got one more thing I'm gonna show you. So the last piece, assisted pull-up movement, if you have a TheraBand, okay? So this is a, a regular resistance band with handles at each end, you can do an assisted pull-up with a resistance band, okay? You can either be holding onto the bar up over your head doing the pull-up and having the band looped around your foot and it's lifting you up. Or like this one here, I'm just holding onto a handle in each hand. I'm actually gonna come down to the floor. I'm seated on the ground, my feet towards you guys, sitting up super tall, my arms are stretched up over my head and I'm just gonna pull down to my chest. My arms are extended up. Now I'm gonna pull my elbows down to my rib. I'm doing a pull-up movement with the resistance band attached up over the pull-up bars. Again, it's all about finding those modifications that work for you guys. There's so many ways that we can get this exercise in, and there's so many ways that you can help build up your own strength, build up those lats, build up your posterior strength. Don't look at an exercise like this and just say, oh, I can't do it. 99.9% .9 of exercises I've ever come across, there are modifications and ways to make them applicable to you. And this is a real primary one, this is a basic one, okay? So, that's the information I have for you today. I challenge you to mix this into your workout routine. I challenge you to find a variation that works for you, to find a way that you can set this up. And please like, comment, post on this video, let me know if my descriptions were good enough for you. If you have some questions about variations or ways that you can modify this exercise, I'm all for it. I wanna give you guys the tools that you need to build up your strength to become better, okay? From Revision Training, let's change the way we look at it. You guys make it a strong day.